following program was written in 2003 by a 12-year-old girl. City girl. Excuse me, sir. Sorry, but we're closed. I think you're open. Actually, we're closed. Do you always believe everything you read? It'll only take a minute. Oh, oh. great a migraine. Hello? Hey. Hi, Trish. I'm really sorry, but I have a really bad headache, and I have all this work to do at the store, and I really can't talk right now. Okay, I'll call you tomorrow. Get off of me. Hey, you're the one that wanted to... Hi, Casey. Hey, Mon, Aaron. Go ahead. It's not like we have any customers. What are you talking about? We... Hate each other. <laughs> oh. 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 Headaches again? They're getting worse and worse, aren't they? Thanks for showing me that thing. No problem. So, where are you headed? Lunch with Matt. I thought you guys broke up. We're still friends. Yeah, right. <sighs> Bye, Mon, Aaron. Please take care of the store for me, okay? No funny business. Sorry, Emily. Traffic was crazy. I have this headache that just won't go away. It's okay. You already ordered? Do what you want. You were right. Oh. oh! Excuse me, waiter? Can I have an aspirin? Must be pretty bad. Migraine. You should see a doctor. You wouldn't want to miss my family's annual ski trip. Oh, yeah. You should see my mom's doctor's friend's son, Dr. Foley. Here, his card. I already have a doctor. Trust me. You'll like him. Besides, your doctor isn't helping. Here's the card. Dr. Foley. Hmm. Foley Medical, this is Claire. Hi, I'm Casey, and I've been having headaches. Do you have any openings for today? Today's pretty slow. What time would you like to come in? How about right now? Oh, sure. Sign in and fill out this paperwork. Would you like a chocolate? This won't take very long, will it? I'm on my lunch break. The doctor will see you now. <clears throat> oh, Claire. Didn't see you there. Dr. Foley, this is Casey. She wrote that she's been having headaches. How old are you, Miss Jones? Oh, Casey, please. Guess. 20? I wish. North. 23? Way up in Canada. What, 30? Two years younger, thank you very much. It's OK. I'm 38. But what does age matter? Dr. Foley, I know this is going to sound weird, but since you're going to be my new doctor, I'm not really comfortable with you yet because I don't know you. So how about we have lunch? That's okay. I do that all the time. Oh yeah, about these headaches. Aspirin isn't really working. Let me get you something. One a day. Take one now. Casey. I have a date. He is so yummy. Trish, I thought you stopped saying yummy when you were 24. 
Oh well. So what are you doing? Nothing special. Just having lunch with Dr. Foley. A doctor? Nice choice. It's not a date, Trish. Only you would date a doctor. That's a little harsh, don't you think? Ready to go? Yeah, to McDonald's. I was thinking Subway. Loosen up, have some fun. My idea of fun doesn't involve greasy food and greasy kids. Where's your car? I took a cab. Mine's in the shop. I'll drive us. Thanks. <laughs> I'll order you number seven. You'll like it. May I take your order? Yeah, I'll have a number six, a number seven, and um, that's all. Okay, uh, for here to go. To go. Thanks. So, Chris. Christopher. So, Christopher. What kind of music do you like? You know, music. Hmm. I love this song. This little piggy at a house made of bricks. Hand over hand, over hand, over fist. This little piggy at a house made of bricks. Up and pop, bitch, you ain't blowing down shit. This little piggy at a house made of bricks. Hand over hand, over hand, over fist. This little piggy at a house made of bricks. Pop and pop, bitch, you ain't blowing down shit. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew you could rap. To be honest, neither did I. <laughs> so, back to business. When should I expect to get the test results? Right, I almost forgot I was your doctor. We should have the test results by Wednesday. Great, well thanks for doing this. I feel comfortable with you now. <laughs> That's how I got into rap music. Ah, oh, Christopher, darling. Is this your new girlfriend? Oh, well, she's actually... You know, it's good you're getting back in the game. Since Carol dumped you. Well, yeah. Yeah, we've both never been happier. I mean, <laughs> it was love at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> well, we better be going. All right. Ciao, me out. Why would you say something like that? <laughs> because I was funny. And now Miss Baxter's gonna bring flowers to my honey. She's gonna... So you get flowers from an old lady. Big deal. You have to admit, it was pretty funny. <laughs> Okay, but sh just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Carol? Monica, Aaron, have you seen my pills? Uh, yeah, they're in your desk. Oh. Oh, Aaron. So how was your big date with the doctor? I don't get you guys. I went to McDonald's with my doctor to get to know him. It wasn't a date. Right. These pills are really working. Good. So tell us more about your big doctor di- I mean, outing. We went to McDonald's and then I took him home. Oh. Well, we went to McDonald's. I wanted to go to Subway. We ate lunch, then she dropped me at the apartment and left. Tell me again why you took a patient out. Because she wasn't comfortable with the new doctor. Gotcha. Did you like her? Kev, you're my best friend, right? Well, I think, no, no, I know I like her. I like her a lot. I've never liked a patient before, not like this. Christopher, who cares? I know, but still. This is the first crush you've had since Carol dumped you. This is great. Dr. Foley, here's Miss Jones' medical test. Let's see if she's okay or not. She's fine. Uh, aside from the headache she's been having, but the medicine I gave will take those away. Well, you could always tell her she has a disease. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm sorry, but we don't have this in denim. Oh. Okay, well, do you have it in denim? Um, Ma'am, we don't have this in denim. 
I understand. What about denim? Look, lady, I don't care how many damn times you ask, we're never gonna have this freaking scarf and denim. <gasps> I am never shopping here again. Whoa, what was that about? Nothing. Mom, get that. Not too shabby. Sure, hang on one sec. Case, it's for you. It's fully medical. Miss Jones, are you available for a doctor's appointment tomorrow afternoon? What time? Three o'clock? I'll see you then. What on earth are you doing? This is your career. You know I can't handle this place on my own. Yes, but she's worth it. Fine. But if she dumps you, I don't want you to act like you did when Carol dumped you. I know. And about you running this place? Yes. I hired you some help. Really? That's great. Who? Hey, girlfriends. <laughs> Hi. Oh, my God. This place is so drab. It, like, totally needs a makeover. Justin, go back to my place until I get back. I told you, you're not needed here until tomorrow. Fine. Hey, you guys. I have to go to the doctor's tomorrow at 3. Yeah? I get what you're saying. I'll take over till you get back. I'll help. I better get going. Matt and I are going to see Fallen in Love again. Don't go. He only wants to get you back. I agree. I'm done. Here. I got these for you. Did you get this from the top shelf? Yeah, I was trying to... Throw them away. They're from, like, 1994. Ready to go? All set. So, Casey, did you see my mother's doctor? Yeah, yeah. I have an appointment with him tomorrow to look at the test. Your headaches are gone. Yeah, he gave me this amazing medicine. Like some old dirty this little piggy at a house full of bricks. Hand over hand over. Casey, rapping, it's not the best thing in the world. Come on, Matt, you're a reporter. You must do articles on like Eminem or Snoop Dogg or other famous rappers. Yeah, we do. On the ones that kill people. Fine, whatever. We have a difference of opinion. Oh well. Well, at the newspaper, we tend to write about things that matter. This is exactly what broke us up. Let's not get into that. So, anyway, are you going on my family's annual ski trip? Hello? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll be right there. Carol picked him out. I Listen, you are so much better off, and this is tacky as trash. This will get my evening tech. Uh, yes, it is, little boy. <laughs> Let me take a look at that cute little ear. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> Your ear is like so totally disgusting. Justin! Would you excuse us a minute? What? You can't say that. You can't tell a good customer that her lipstick doesn't look good. What? I didn't. Erin, get me my meds. Look, Casey, I'll call and say sorry. I was just doing her a favor. I'm sorry if I yelled or anything. I'm just a little nervous about my doctor's appointment today. What else is new? That's not funny. I gotta go. See you later. Laters. She's late. She'll be here. Don't sweat it. Is it bad news? Because I could take a doc. <laughs> I wouldn't laugh if I were you. What? Look, Casey, this is something most doctors never have to see. I've noticed in your um, tests, you have something called a, a 
Gillum and show first trilumentosis, otherwise known as a brain dot. Is there anything you can do? How can we cure it? Well, I'm getting to that. You see, there's a tiny black dot in your brain, and it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. It's not too serious, but it could become a serious problem. You need to move in with me so I can monitor your every move. Okay. This little piggy got a house made of bricks. Hand over hand over hand over fist. This little piggy got a house made of bricks. Up and pump, bitch, you ain't blowing down shit. This little piggy got a house made of bricks. Hand over hand over hand over fist. This little piggy got a house made of bricks. Up and pump, bitch, you ain't blowing down shit. Wasn't that nice? Subscribe to Super Deluxe for more.